I can feel the air power! Fire! According to Feng Shui, the fire area is here. Ugh, the earth power will be concentrated here. Nettle will raise the money flow. Oh no, I don't have anything to fill the water area with. So... So, everything collapsed. It's over. I won't be able to reach our money. Sammy, Sammy, slow down. What happened? I made everything according to feng shui. Earth, fire, metal, and air. But I missed the water element. You know, I kept thinking what I could do with these adorable bricks. So what will you do? I'll build a real fountain, according to Feng Shui. And then comes to harmony. Boom! Da 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 da. Do 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 do. Da oh, <laughs> hi guys. Today I'm gonna make a small fountain so Sam can find his harmony. First of all, let's make the concrete mixture, which will make our bricks stick tightly to each other. If we make everything according to Feng Shui, the harmony will fill the whole house. Hi, guys. I guess you are in a helpful mood today. He who would catch fish must not mind getting wet. Oh, look at this philosopher. <laughs> Actually, I know some proverbs too. For example, actions speak louder than words. You know what I mean? Sure, I am channeling Zen to get focused on our work. I'm quite sure this will help me achieve some amazing results. <laughs> no doubt. Do you know what else can help you get focused? Painting off the rest of our bricks. I know. That's why I'm already on it. We're making the bottom of our future fountain. Everything starts from the base. You should lay bricks tight next to each other. Later on, we'll secure the bottom from leaking. Like this. By the way, this will be a real fountain with a small waterfall. I had no doubt. Only the real waterfall can lead the key energy. Hmm. I see you really got into the feng shui doctrine. Oh, Sue, there's so many interesting things here. Is there anything about attracting money? I'm asking because I know one fidgety slime who spent all his savings only because he doesn't know how to deal with money. <laughs> oh, there is a lot about money. Wait, what are you implying? Mm, nothing at all. I'm just mixing the concrete. Concrete? What do you need it for? We need it to foster the bottom and protect it from leaking. Bricks are not reliable enough in that sense. Pour the concrete and fill every possible hole in the future fountain. This step takes quite a bit of time, but it's super important. Oh, by the way, Sammy, did you paint the brick? Just a couple more to go. <gasps> Abracadabra, set, enhance. Great. But that's not all. We need an additional ceiling for our fountain. Let's fill it with this! No, Sammy. Although, it's not a bad idea. I studied at the Academy of Geniuses. <laughs> you made that up. <laughs> Guys, for ceiling, we're using a high-strength glue. When will you stop downing my competence? Uh, let's see. Is the Academy of Geniuses located in Tibidabo? Exactly. I even have a degree. The Master of Sweet and Craftology. Hmm, <laughs> I think I should go there, too, to improve my skills. I guess you can even teach there because you are super smart. Oh, Sammy, you're so sweet. I gives you a thumbs up for her incredible intellect. And subscribe to our channel, too. While we wait for the glue to set. Then we can continue creating our beauty. Ooh. Sammy, you've already decorated the bricks. Yes, Susie, it's done by the real master of sweets and craftology. Oh, I already forgot that you have a degree. <laughs> I suggest to pelt Sam with thumbs up, because these bricks are awesome! Are we gonna make the walls for the fountain? Yep. In the rear wall, we'll have two small holes to attach the water pump. One of them goes right here. We'll come back to it later. Now we just need to assemble the wall. Guys, 
Have you ever built anything with bricks? If you're interested in building and these kinds of crafts, you definitely have to try this. You can start with something more simple, like a small house or a tower. On our channel, you can find a video on how to build two at once. We also have many ideas on how to use this kind of material. Phew! The construction's finally completed! Let's move on to the artwork. So, why you just take the broken bricks? We have lots of normal ones! Oh, Sammy, don't worry. It's one of the decor ideas I learned recently. This way, our fountain will look very ancient. <laughs> oh, I got it. As if it was found in an ancient Chinese town in Barakia. Exactly. It's the aging effect. By the way, it's frequently used in interior design. Old things make it cozier. I like the way you think. After all, we started all this for coziness and feng shui. Guys, while Sam's away, I decided to make a surprise for him. I'm going to decorate the bottom of our fountain with mosaics. It will be very beautiful. I must say, it is quite a painstaking work. Though, I like these kinds of challenges. It's like meditation. To make the design a little unusual, I'll lay out some mosaic circles this way. Just like crop circles. <laughs> well, ours are fountain. <laughs> I think Sam's gonna like it. He approves creativity. Here comes the final touch. The mosaic bottom is ready! <gasps> I think it looks awesome! Oh wow, this is amazing, Susie! Surprise! You just need to cover the bottom with lacquer and the fountain decor is finished. All right, let's make a crafty water supply system. I wonder how water will get into our fountain. Will you connect it to the plumbing? Our fountain can't be in the bathroom, the water area is in the living room. No, no, no. It won't be connected to the plumbing. It's much easier. It will be an artificial water cycle. It is eco-friendly and cost-effective. Guys, do you save water? Oh, look who's talking about savings, mister. I brush my teeth with running water. <laughs> Too. Sometimes I forget about it when I sing in the bathroom. <laughs> I know. I just wanted to tease you. <laughs> All right. Done. Now watch. We pour some water right into that pool. The water will be pumped here. And poured out from here. That's the closed loop. It's a perpetual motion machine. The endless circular motion like yin and yang. We just need to add some decorations and it's done. How do you like the tree I found? It'll be nice to meditate under its branches. Last time I taught you to meditate, you fell asleep. Ugh, don't you get it? I wasn't asleep. I was in deep meditation. Okay, okay, I believe you. So shall we put everything together? It's high time. I can feel something is constantly interfering in my harmony. And your sweet sleep. <laughs> It was an enlightenment, Sue. I felt so light. Oh, then maybe you could give me some yoga classes. I'd better give you the eating sweets classes. Ah, uh, deal. <laughs> In the meantime, let's keep decorating the area. This clay pot will play the role of a tap. Another pot goes here. Awesome. While here, I found the perfect spot for a stone. Very beautiful. Here's the last and the most important detail.
So, shall we launch the waterfall? Yes, I'm ready. Here we go. Wow, this is the coolest feng shui fountain in the world. How's it going with your harmony? Great. I am calm and ready to comprehend Zen. Join me. Sweetheart, how's it going there? The wheat is growing, but when will our mill be ready? Well, first you need to approve the project. Huh, okay, yes, great, good, good. So just what we need. Wait, will the blades actually spin? Of course. Are you planning to put electricity? Oh, it's described in the project. Look. We need to hurry up. The wheat will ripen soon and we'll have to make the flour. For what? Pizza, of course. Oh, then we need to start building right away. So, Farmer Sam approved the project and it's time to get started. Today we're going to make a craft using these adorable mini bricks again. Yay! Only you can make this world seem bright. Oh, Jenny, what is that? That disgusting smell. This is a fertilizer. It's not the nicest smell, but it's very good for our young plants. Oh, I hope he comes up with an idea of airing the room. Anyway, let's begin constructing. We'll start with the base. We'll need a concrete mixture like this. Our mill will be standing on a platform. That is why we apply our mixture right here. There we go. And as usual, carefully. Brick by brick. We start building our house. This task needs patience. And the last brick goes here. Let's carefully remove the extra material. We are quite thrifty builders. <laughs> you're tough shit, guys. Oh, you're just dead. gonna wander around. What's this? It's poison. Some bad insects want to eat my plants. How did they get in our house at all? I don't know, but they better not eat my wheat. Oh, you get carried away so easily. <laughs> and so, you know, I started building the walls of our mill. It's important not to rush. We don't want our mill to be crooked, right? I always try to do my best to make it look perfect. Here goes another one. Did you notice that today we're using bricks with different colors? There will be small windows in the walls as well. It will be very bright inside. And a door, of course. Huh? Guys, have you ever taken care of plants in your garden or at home? Sammy and I love plants, all kinds of them. <laughs> Once, I tried to grow roses. They even bloomed. <laughs> and then guess what happened to them? So will I ever hear the end of it? I wanted to surprise you with a bouquet. I'm <laughs> not mad at you, but it made me happy growing naturally. It's no big deal. The next year you got even more beautiful flowers. I helped them. Let's begin the construction of the second floor. For this, we'll need a platform like this. By the way, multi-leveled cakes are made the same way. There's a platform between Sam, each layer. stop watching me! I can't even eat a piece of cake without your surveillance. Sammy, you have an outstanding ear. Sometimes you don't hear important things, and then you react to any nonsense. <sighs> a cake is not nonsense, it's a culinary art. But I ate all of it. <laughs> I knew it. I shouldn't leave sweets in plain view. If I don't speed up, there will only be wrappers and dirty plates left around the house. A bit of craft magic won't do any harm. Wow! The result's even better than I expected. Whoa, Sue! The construction is... Uh-huh. Ahead of schedule. You're a super architect. Could you tell us a little bit more about the process? Mm-hmm. 
As usual, some bricks, concrete, and a couple of tricks. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. On the upper floor, there is a special place with a hole. We'll install the mill's blades there. On the third floor, we'll hide the mechanism to make our construction function. Oh, I almost forgot to clear the joints. Sammy, bring the sponge, please. Aye, aye, Captain. Who lives in that kitchen along with the dishes? SpongeBob foam pants. <laughs> Let's hurry up and decorate the joints. First, we need to wipe it nicely with the sponge. It's more convenient to apply the grout using a syringe. The spout is thin enough to apply the material exactly between the bricks. In a real house, the grout is needed not only for decoration. It makes the brick walls more resistant, hermetic, and prolongs the lifetime of the whole building. I think I already told you guys, but this white grout reminds me of a meringue. <laughs> a little more. Now let's remove the extra grout with a cloth. Oh, looks beautiful. Sue, so what's this? It looks like a spaceship part. You're close enough. These are the energy efficient technologies. We're going to install this solar panel on the roof to make the mill blade spin. Does that mean your mill will be eco-friendly? Exactly. It's the cleanest electricity, Sammy. I think only wind power is cleaner. Interesting, a windmill with a solar panel. <gasps> then it's a sun mill, Sue. Oh, I never thought about it. You're right, then it's a sun mill. <laughs> Pay attention, sweetheart. Actually, there's no difference if it's wind or sun. I only want my week to be safe. But was it really in danger? Yes, a couple of times. First, there were the insects. Uh, you made them up. They were there. Disgusting black, smelling like a vanilla. Sammy, I... I guess your wheat was threatened by cookie crumbs. <laughs> Oopsie. I poisoned cookies. Now it's not edible. Well, Mr. Gardner, what else besides cookies infringed on your crops? Fluffy! I don't know what happened to him, but he wanted to dig something out. He was attracted by the smell of your fertilizer. He wanted to bury it. <laughs> <laughs> Susan, can't you just stop making fun of me? Not sure. You could at least read some books on gardening. Ugh, I'm gonna watch some videos on YouTube and check if everyone gave us a thumbs up. Oh, guys, quick, give a thumbs up to all the videos. Otherwise, Sam's going to be sad, I'm sure. Oh, yes, and don't forget to subscribe. Just press one button. Meanwhile, I am almost done with the last part of the mechanism. Hooray! The filling for our mill is completely ready. We just need to assemble everything. I want to decorate the second floor of the mill. Now, it looks a little boring. Here comes our concrete mixture and cross-like bricks. Now, we'll make a couple of metal sidings. We can place some flower sacks on them. Or decorate them with flowers. Let's start the docking like this. The docking was successful. We better ask the opinion of our great decorator when he's done studying gardening. <laughs> hmm. I wonder if he can tell me any new facts after he finishes his research. Oh, <gasps> what if he embeds a new kind of wheat which grows from candies? <laughs> you know what I read on the internet? Surprise me. Plants also live on solar energy. Ugh, sunlight hits them. And then happens the photo... Uh, photo snickers. <laughs> Did you mean photosynthesis? Oh, right. I just thought about snickers. Anyways, uh, photo snick... I mean, synthesis helps plants produce oxygen. Yep, it's amazing. Can I tell more while assembling the mill's mechanism? You have the floor, colleague. Oopsie. <laughs> so... Plants function a little more complicated than our solar panel. 
They consume carbon dioxide exhaled by humans and produced by cars and get nutrients and water through their roots. Interesting, right? Then, with the help of light, plants digest everything inside of them and save something for growing. The rest goes into the atmosphere. This includes oxygen. That's why it's so good to stay outdoors. Plants allow us to breathe fresh air. Holy cannoli! I'll go kiss my wheat! It's so cool! <laughs> yeah, plants are real hard workers. Hey, check out how hard I worked. Everything according to the project. Uh-huh, yep, yep, uh, very, very good. Better than the project. Let's test it right away. Sure, but first we need to connect the wires of the mechanism. We do it by colors. Red connects to red. Black to black. Easy peasy. Perfect, come with me. So windmill, it's your big moment. Catch the sunlight. Oh, we need more light. Let's open the window. Oh, 